Listen up, Global Dokkan Battle. We got a little bit to talk about. I've seen a whole lot of confusion currently right now, even last night while I was still live doing things. I've seen a whole lot of confusion from a lot of people. Now, with a whole lot of reason, I'm going to assume that it's mostly from a lot of new people in the game. If you're a veteran in the game for this, then you probably already know how the structures really work with the anniversaries, worldwide celebrations, and stuff like that when it's very hype times. You already know how things necessarily work. But if you're new and you're getting into Dokkan Battle and you haven't been here for an anniversary and stuff like that, it's probably a little bit overwhelming for you. And you're probably like, what does all this mean? Well, we're going to break down a lot of this as quick as possible in this video because, you know, a lot of people have short attention spans and don't like long videos. So I'm trying to make this short as possible. And while I got your attention really quick, hey, listen, listen, listen. I know you're new to the channel. I know you are. Subscribe and turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put on more videos. Man, you don't want to miss live streams with summons, nothing, even in video format. You don't want to miss it at all you want to be a part of it i know you do so subscribe and turn on notifications this summer we're trying to get hype boy hype 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 so listen up this banner right here obviously banners are going to drop the second i'm on east coast so i'm gonna break this down for east coast in the united states this is going to be two 2 30 a.m in the morning so after monday tomorrow that night going in the banners will be live now we should be getting a actual data download before this even drops so again i will say this again for a lot of new players that don't know this when these banners drop it is messy 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 it's probably gonna have a whole lot of server going on <laughs> to be honest because it is a hype time expect this also for Beast Gohan. So I'm gonna say this right now, I would not fault you whatsoever at all if you don't even try to even get in at this point in time when the banners drop. Now for Central Time, obviously this is gonna be 1.30 in the morning a.m. for you. And if you're West Coast, then that's 10, excuse me, 11.30 p.m. Monday night for you. Now, if you're in another country and stuff like that, again, you have to sort of adjust to the time zones. And I will say this to make it a little bit easier for you, no matter what time, whenever, no matter what basically country you're in right now, the banners drop at a certain time and you already know that that's when they drop, then this is when they're going to drop. So whatever that time is for you, this is when the banners are going to drop, whether it's the afternoon, morning, night, whatever it is for you in your country, this is when this is actually going to drop for you. So it's it's subject to change. Like I said, they could do it a little bit earlier or later, but I doubt it. It's probably going to be 2.30 in the morning. Again, messy servers, probably even crash. So just prepare for that as well. Now, let's talk about the tickets. Like I said before, tickets have been sort of a thing that's been a little little messy for a lot of people currently right now i've seen a whole lot of things about people thinking that we're going to get these tickets with the actual step up and the rotations that we're going to be having with these banners i do not doubt that i, I like i excuse me i highly doubt that that's going to happen they're not generous they're not that damn generous we're not going to get a new step up format and then also that which by the way guarantees you on the seven step a guaranteed featured unit like i doubt we're going to get tickets with this one as well Basically, for the Dokken Fest uh, ticket summon right here, and then also the legendary carnival ticket summon, these are probably going to be the tickets that you were getting with the ninth uh, anniversary countdown. Whenever you're getting those every week, where you're getting, I think, two tickets of each in that pack. This is probably what that's actually referring to. And premium, I'm you shit out of luck. You're literally just buying those. Like, if it says premium on it, you buying it. You coming up off some money. You coming up off some green, some money. You coming up off off. I'm just saying it. You coming up off of some money. And that's just a hot fact. A hot fact when it comes to Dokkan. It's like, gotcha, boy. It's like, got that got gotcha your ass. That's what that's supposed to be. Premium equal money. Green. You paying for the shit. Another thing what I was talking about really quick, just to really show you what I was talking about. Again, Dokkan Fest A right here, as you can see, right through there. Tells you there. And this is also the legendary one as well, too. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is what uh, this is actually meant for. Another thing that I've been seeing a lot of people sort of confused about is the ninth anniversary ticket and then also the ninth anniversary ton, tons of thanks ticket. You, some people are getting those confused. I was actually doing these summons last night on the stream and a lot of people are like, I can't, whoa, 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 why is he using all of these tickets right now? I thought we were supposed to save these. Yeah, these are the fuck off tickets. 
Uh, these are the ones that they give you for free. The ones you've been getting for all the countdowns and the logins and stuff like that and missions. Yeah, this is what this is. This is the free ones that they like. If you get an LR elevator, cool. It's whatever. You get some spicy and future units you don't have, cool. It's whatever. This is the peasant ticket. This is what they give out all the time. They're going to continue to give these out a lot and stuff like that. So trust, this ain't the premium type shit. And even, it, even though it is sort of technically pre premium real quick, the ninth ones right here, the tons of actual think tickets right now uh these are the ones that you can use to actually hit whatever doken fest or legendary carnival banner that you actually want to hit so basically yes broly gogeta uh gammas and even uh beast gohan you can literally use these tickets to get them on now the thing is is you can either use them individually or you can hold them all off and use these uh, during the third because I think this is when it goes live you can actually use it in the third so you can uh, either skip out on one of the banners that you necessarily didn't want to summon on use dragon stones or even buy the tickets with and use these to summon on it with 50 tickets and you will be uh, summoning with a 77 character multi now we don't know the actual sort of statistics on this one and how it's actually going to perform we don't know if it's going to be a situation where it's going to be three uh, you're guaranteed three LRs because if that was case that would be insane first of all but we don't know how it's going to be we don't know if it's going to be like you're guaranteed like two featured units you're guaranteed one featured unit in an lr or, or something we don't necessarily know how this is really going to work it could be like you're guaranteed five ssrs and it not be uh don't confess or anything like it. it could be but not be or it could be hey you're guaranteed a couple of don't confess and like you know three or four other uh ssrs out of it at, at minimum that could be pretty cool. We don't necessarily know the data download will actually show us what this actually is going to uh, be providing for us. At, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, in a couple of days or so, we'll actually figure out what this is actually going to be for. So hopefully uh, those things really clear up a lot of things that a lot of people have been sort of having uh, issues with in the community right now. But the last thing I want to talk about, and I said this uh, last night, I'm going to do this sort of in real time, just uh, sort of scroll over to it, is the red dragon stone i'm gonna say this right now if you're um uh, you should have already collected a red dragon stone by now we got it on the first login um i'm gonna say this if it's a doken fest which uh godku and uh freezy pop uh are not but if you're scrolling through here and you're seeing if you know they're a doken fest they're getting a super easy a at some point in time this is massive okay because there is no wrong sort of choice here whatsoever at all like i do it doesn't matter what anybody says or anything like that because no one has information on these units whatsoever at all and they're super easy a's that is a future sort of thing that's going to be happening with all of these units no one knows how their kits are going to perform and look after a super easy a so there is no wrong uh choice whatsoever at all obvious the obvious first choice is hey if you don't have that unit and you have everything else and it's the only unit you're missing pick it up that way you have a copy of every last one of them that way when you're going forward through the year when we have all of our sort of uh, free banners and stuff like that that we summon on that actually have units and stuff like this in it with the tickets and memorial dragon stones and stuff like that uh then you could just go for and hope that you get copies of them beforehand and like i said the farther that it is for this unit the better the super easy is probably going to be going forward and also just remember that they do take these units out whenever they're about to get a super easy a we've already seen it before they take the unit out so that they basically say you're not buying it you're not getting it for free you're not getting it for free you if you don't have it you're coming up off like what 150 dragon stones uh, that you can buy them or whenever when they come back on their banners and stuff like that depending on uh how they are and stuff like that so just saying and like i said this has been a couple of things that's been plaguing i've seen it in the community a little bit uh, at the beginning of an anniversary so just to sort of give a little bit of a light in into a whole lot of things right now shining it in for you guys uh yeah like i said no real wrong things hopefully me talking about the tickets helps you out a lot more uh that way you can sort of understand what you're going to be uh really summoning on how things are going to be structured and stuff like that when it comes to all these summits kind of you know calm you down a little bit before you know the hype really does pop off in a couple of days when these banners actually come out for Broly and Gogeta. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, have an awesome day slash night. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah.